While on my path to achieve greatness, I realized that most can't match my dream. What? Why they sleep? Oh yeah. I'm I got wide it. awake. Why they take hey. it easy? I'm putting in. Yo. I need somebody to hear me, man. I need somebody to hear me. I just got a quick workout. I really didn't necessarily have time for it, but sometimes you got to make time for the things that mean the most. You time. Time with yourself. Time to reflect. Time to think. And this is all I can think about during that short workout. I need somebody, man, somebody's got to hear me. Somebody has got to hear me. Don't wait for growth. Seek growth. I'm going to say it again. Do not sit around and wait for growth. Actively, consistently, consciously seek growth growth for yourself and what sucks is I can say this stuff and I know you still gonna sit and wait on it and let me tell you what happens when you wait on growth when you wait on growth you give God no choice God did not put us here to stay the same we are we, humans can adapt to anything, right? You can learn anything. He did not put you here for you to be okay with what you know and where you're at right now. We can go way, way, way beyond anything that we believe is possible. And what happens is over time, you sit and you wait thinking growth is automatic. Growth is not automatic. Age is automatic. Time passing is automatic. Growth is not. If you want to grow and excel and achieve more, you have to seek growth. <sighs> I need you to hear me, man. I need you to hear me. Let me tell you what happens. Let me tell you what happened to me. When you wait on growth, right? God's looking at you like, I have all these plans, I have all these great things, but I need them to take this risk. I need them to do the uncomfortable things. I need them to do the hard things on their own for them to reach the next level so, I, so that I can bless them with what else I have in store for them. And when you don't do that, just picture this. You can fly. Right? We're born to fly. Let's say that. You don't know you can fly because you've never flown. But you're standing on the edge of this cliff. You know deep down inside, I was born to fly. Right? But I'm afraid to jump. And God's sitting here looking at you like, are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? Are they going to do it? And then he's like, nope. They're not going to do it themselves. So I'm going to push them off the cliff. So he pushes you, and you fall, and you start getting beat and banged up, and then you're like, ah, the devil is out to get me. No. Come to find out, I was pushed and getting beat and banged up because God was trying to influence growth through uncomfortable situations places you've never been before, risk you've never taken, there's growth for you to become who you're supposed to become in order to reach the blessings that you're meant to reach. But us being the stupid humans that we are think that the devil's trying to punish us and so we cower. And we, 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 we never even try to fly. We never try to overcome it. We say, I'm depressed. Why does this keep happening to me? Why is God doing this to me? He's trying to get you to grow, man. And I'm telling you, if you don't seek growth and he's got to influence you to it, you ain't going to like it. It's not going to feel good. You're going to feel like you're, you're, you're being shunned out. Like you're going to feel like you're depressed. It's going to hurt. 
but that's not that that you're focused on the wrong part of what's going on right you know they say what don't kill you makes you stronger so if you like if you come out on the other side now you've dealt with something you've never dealt before and you've grown beyond that you've maybe learned something if your perspective is right if you view the things that happen to you as things happening for you and not to you then you can grow to another point become a different version of yourself and now you'll be blessed with something else on the other side of pain and suffering is a blessing I'm telling you don't wait on growth seek growth like it kills me man because people are on their phones all day long we have the world's information at our fingertips and yet we're still ignorant and yet we're still broke and yet we still don't know dog if you would spend a quarter of the time researching things that you don't know learning skills that you don't know seeking growth as much as you sit and, and try to see what, you know, who's doing well after high school, after 10 years, you know what I'm saying? Like whose relationship is good or bad? You know what I mean? Like who's on vacation and who's not? You know, who bought a new car, who didn't? Like, if you spent a quarter of the time researching and seeking growth, you know what I'm saying? Like, I, here's the thing, like, I, I give, only with the intent to inspire someone to plant their own seeds. Like, I, I'll give fruit, like, hey, try this, it's good. I planted it myself, right? <laughs> you should plant your own. You know what I mean? But if you're hanging around people who are planting seeds only with the intent to reap some fruit, you, you know, you know what I mean. Like, if, if you're hanging around me, only with the intent to be like, he's planting all the seeds, and once it grows, I'm getting some fruit. Uh, uh no, you're gonna starve. I'll give you some. Only with the intent to inspire you to plant your own. That's the thing. Like, I only tell people about the things that have helped me achieve the things that I have achieved thus far because I want to see people planting their own seeds. Don't sit around and wait for someone else's fruit. Plant your own. It feels better to reap the benefits of your own hard work. The problem is people don't want to be uncomfortable. People don't want to do the work. People are waiting on growth. Do stop waiting on growth. I promise you. God is going to pull the rug out from under you. You're going to bust your face wide open on the ground. And you're going to pick, oh, why me? Why did you do this to me? Because you sat around for another 365 days and did nothing. Yo, I'm talking to somebody. I am talking to someone. It's not the devil after you. It's God. Like, hey, you know what I mean? God's going to, boy, I'm telling you, yo. He's going to pull the rug out from under you and it's going to hurt. And you're going to misinterpret what he's trying to do and and, and, and and try to play the victim, right? And you're going to be in the same position you are right now, next year, and the year after that, and the year after that. But when you seek growth, when you attack it, when you go for it, when you look for the uncomfortable situations and put yourself there, you know what I'm saying? Like if you put yourself in front of conflict, you know what's coming. Like it's still going to hurt. It's still going to be hard. You still ain't gonna like it, but you at least know what's coming. Versus sitting there and waiting, like, trying to, boom, ah! You weren't ready, ah, the devil, ah! Kills me, yo. We have all the information we need to become great. There's plenty of money in this world for everybody to get a piece. You know why there's a majority that have it and a majority that don't? You're sitting around waiting on it. And then there's a select few of people who will seek it and not wait for God to influence them in the direction they need to go. Pay attention to the signs. 
quit watching the BS and consuming content, start producing. Much love, man. I got work to do. I'm talking to somebody. I'm talking to somebody. I just need you to hear me, man.